what's up guys in this video let's take a look at the new panorama feature that apple has presented during their latest keynote and they brought this feature to ios 6 on the iphone 4s and the iphone 5. so to turn on this feature you obviously need to go to your camera app then you need to tap on the options button and then if you have an iPhone 4S or iPhone 5 as well as the iPod Touch 5th generation you can just tap on panorama and you're brought to this wonderful menu which says uh, move iPhone continuously when taking a panorama all you have to do is click on this and then uh, what I'm going to do is to show you guys how you're taking pictures with this so I'm at my balcony right now and all you have to do is click on that button right here the camera button and you move your iPhone just like this across yourself and you gotta make sure that the arrow doesn't cross the line uh, which is horizontal so you always need to keep your iPhone uh, horizontally uh, correct you mustn't move it up or down so as you can see when you're finished you just tap that button right here and um, your iPhone is ready to go you took the panorama and it looks awesome now let's give you another example in my room so probably you can see it better right now so uh, all you do is you tap right here and you start dragging your iPhone just like this so when you're done you can just click on the button right here and here you go here's your panorama you can view it and uh, it looks awesome you know you have a very wide angle picture well it's actually called a panorama, obviously. When you're done with the panorama mode, you can just click on done, and you're agreed with the normal camera feature. So I think you got the idea of how it is uh, taking pictures with panorama. It's really easy, just as uh, all the things by Apple are done for. And uh, also, here are some examples of uh, pictures that I took with it. Uh, it is pretty good at like changing uh, lights and stuff like that. If it's like if you need more exposure or less exposure but it has kind of a glitch when you're trying to shoot something moving for example I shot cars as you can see on that picture and uh, you can see that it's kind of the two ghost cars like their parts are actually missing and you don't see the actual car so it's not like they said if a person is moving uh, it will still be um, not moving on the picture no it's actually not as good uh, for cars because I guess they're just faster but I don't think we can actually count this as a disadvantage so to kind of sum it up for you guys, I'm really excited for the new panorama mode feature. I, I'm really excited that they also brought it um, to the iPhone 4S because if they didn't, uh, all of the iPhone 4S users would be angry at them. So really this is like another reason to buy an iPhone. I'm really excited that Apple is doing it and I'm really uh, happy that they actually activated this feature because it was hidden. Uh, in iOS uh, 5 already. So thank you guys for watching this video. I would be really glad if you actually subscribed and clicked the like button down below. And uh, if you subscribe, you'll get more tech and Apple videos on your homepage, uh, on your YouTube homepage. And I will see you guys in the next video of this kind. Peace.